Hello. We're going to make a video and this video will demonstrate demonstrate uh, installing Anaconda 3 on Ubuntu 18.04. Okay, um, so first thing we'll do is we'll open a web browser and uh, after I open the web browser I'm going to go to Google And here I'll type Anaconda. And it brings up the Anaconda website where I want to go to uh, www.anaconda.com. And I'm going to click on download. And I'm going to download the Anaconda. Uh, individual edition here and I'm going to download the latest for <coughs> excuse me the latest version 3.7 and I'm going to go ahead and click save file and uh, this is a brand new fresh install of um, Ubuntu. <coughs> As you can see it's going to take 26 minutes here so it's going to take a little bit. Um, so the um, uh, I'm downloading Anaconda to do a couple of other things later but I'm just demonstrating how to download the Anaconda. Um, Anaconda uh, 3 is what's downloading uh, and then I'm going to pause the video in a second and then we'll go through uh, setting up and installing uh, Anaconda 3 and uh, so anyways let me pause the video and we'll be back when it finishes okay um, we're back and uh, we have about 30 seconds left in this download and that one of the things we're going to do after the download finishes is we're going to check the downloads directory and make sure that it's uh, still there. Uh, and let's get the machine back. Okay, and we'll come up here. How's that download going? kind of going backwards here in terms of time. Okay, we're almost done here and then we're going to go check the downloads directory and then we're going to do a few things to make this uh, single user version uh, multi-user. So it completed. It completed it on the download and uh, so let's go take a look. We'll open up the terminal here and I'm going to get out of this uh, little message. Just get back to a terminal and we're going to go down to the downloads directory and make sure we see our anaconda and the size is about half a gig. Okay, so um, now we're going to put under the slash opt directory we're going to put our anaconda directory and um, and I also put the like to put the um, release uh, because you can install multiple anaconda in installations and uh, we're going to see kind of how you can control that so uh, what we can do here is we're going to say uh, sudo mkdir dash p uh, and I'll, I'll put out the full path in case you uh, don't do a change directory to the uh, uh, slash opt directory so slash opt anaconda slash 2020 dot actually we don't want to do that 2020 dot zero two because the anaconda install will make that 2020.02. So we just make that anaconda directory. And you have to use sudo uh, if you're using a regular user ID. So we'll go back into the downloads directory. 
and we'll type sudo anaconda dot slash anaconda okay so yeah it's a shell not it's not an executable so I couldn't say sudo anaconda I had to say sudo shell anaconda okay so then I'm going to hit enter and it's going to tell me that uh, I have to read the license agreement so I'll read that very carefully and um, I agree to the license agreement and um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say where do I want this to be installed so where I want it to be installed is um, slash opt slash anaconda slash 2012.02 and if you remember we made that slash opt slash anaconda directory uh, anaconda will make the 2012.02 directory and install it under there okay and now it's going to go ahead and install And again, this will take a, a few minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video again while this installs, and I'll be right back. OK, I'm returning to the video. Um, and what it did here was uh, it went through everything it's going to uh, install. And this is everything it's going to install in there. Those are the new packages. It's still in the installation process here. So that's what it's going to install. Let me scroll on down and we'll see what it's doing now. Okay. Um, now it's saying, uh, here it's saying, do I want, do I wish the installer to initialize Anaconda by running? Uh, conda init. I'm going to go ahead and say yes. Okay. Now, um, one of the things that it did was um, if I go ahead here and uh, do a change directory back to my home directory, and if I cat my dot bash RC, you'll see in here where it starts with conda initialize and it has some statements under there. This is the script that you that gets uh, run when the uh, you log in uh, and or you can copy this out and you can source this uh, script and uh, it will initialize the anaconda and put you into the uh, initial uh, uh, yeah, the initial base environment. So, um, in order to get this to work, um, you would, on login, if you wanted to do it this way with a login, you have to log out and log back in the first time. And when you log in, you're going to see that word base. That means that the bash uh, RC, because you had the statements in there, uh, actually uh, put the uh, put you into the base anaconda environment and you can do things like you can run conda list to see everything that's installed or you can run other anaconda commands <coughs> what we're actually going to do is we're going to do something a little bit different uh, so that we can make it more multi-user um, I'm going to go to slash opt and I'm going to um, uh, I, I'm going to say sudo mkdir dash uh, p slash opt slash scripts. Okay, and then um, type my password, and then um, I'm going to come back. I'm going to actually open another terminal. Oops. 
bit easier for myself. So uh, under scripts slash opt scripts I'm going to make a script called um, um, uh, anaconda 3 dash 2012.02 dash env for environment dot shell and actually what I wanted to do was say vi okay uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to open my dot bash rc come down here to the bottom and I'm going to copy these uh, statements here that where the kind initialize is and I'll do C. I'll do a right click and a copy. Over here I'll type I and I'll paste these in and I'll save this. This will be my environment script now. And uh, you'll see why I'm doing this in a second. So over here I'm actually going to delete these out, these statements. Now, if I exit out of here and I uh, start a new terminal, you'll see I'm not in that base environment now. But what I can do to get into that base, base environment and any user that you put on your machine, um, you can type uh, source slash opt slash scripts um, anaconda so you source that environment script and that'll put you into the base environment and then you can run your conda commands so uh, that's what I wanted to show you with installing anaconda and setting up an environment script that any user can run to get themselves into the anaconda and it makes that uh, single user anaconda uh, multi-user uh, and you know and to test that it worked you can type Conda list and it should list all the uh, stuff and I think you can type Conda dash capital V and it will tell you the version of Conda you're running okay so that's all I'm going to do on this video so it's not too long and uh, thanks for listening and I hope it was helpful